when you as language teacher are thinking of designing syllabus for writing in a language classroom it's important that you understand the socio cultural and educational dynamics of your students so understanding the learner population is important and as i have been mentioning emphasizing from time to time that teacher is the curriculum teacher is the syllabus and it's it's the teacher who is going to make informed decisions in the classroom for example if you have been given handed in a course book but how you can bring in innovation into that course book this is these are your decisions these are your choices which you will make so when you design syllabus for second language writing through your lesson plans through through some activities through, through some tasks it's important that you understand your learners on almost daily basis so that you can directly appeal to their um minds you can directly make the lectures appealing to their minds right so while understanding in this phenomena it's important that you see language classroom as a workshop not as a as a traditional classroom where it's teacher centered where you just come into the classroom and deliver the lecture and leave the class no not at all no matter it's a big classroom or a small classroom no matter if you have teaching assistant or you are doing it on your own it has to be seen as a workshop where students can produce letters where students can produce memos where students can produce complaints where students can produce academic essays so while enabling them produce these different genres different types of writing you actually engage them in such a way you help them master different techniques and embrace different ideas so overall your goal is not like of course we cannot rule out the question that Uh, of individuality in in a classroom but what is important is that we develop a spirit of collaboration and group work in the classroom so each student at the end of the day becomes informed learner and they can copy you they can make judgments about their writing when they are actually at home or when they are in their professional life they can become independent writer so needs assessment is important in this regard by needs assessment i would like you to administer it almost on daily basis and that will help you create a link what they have learned in the previous class and what they want to learn in the next class although it seems very ideal and utopian situation but this is practically doable no matter if we are preparing our students for board exams or for a level or o level but we can depart from the conventional way of teaching and bring in some activities and tasks which let's say we can we can dedicate at least a day or a two days at least not if not a day then some few hours to bring in some innovation in the classroom so needs there are different questionnaires available in the literature which you can find out in the handbook provided in this uh, course which which validate the needs and establish priorities so we will come to know about their diverse features as students their diverse skills as students their diverse schemata schemata as students and their so needs analysis actually helps us understand the wants lacks strengths and weaknesses of students and then tailor our teaching methodology tailor our lesson plans according to the, those needs and expectations so it depends the type of institution we are working in 
if we are working in state institute, we'll have to be innovative in our methodology. If we are working in English medium schools, we'll have to come up with different. Um, so understanding the prior educational knowledge of students is important. Apart from that, we will need to understand their L1 learning experiences and how L1 can influence L2, second language acquisition. So in this regard, we will also have to understand writing for general purposes and writing for academic or different subjects or dis different disciplines. So of course, students come with some predispositions into the classroom and what our role as language teachers is to identify their needs their wants, their lacks, their strengths and weaknesses, and then mold our strategies, styles, and match our teaching style to their preferences. So teacher role in this regard is to raise awareness, to raise awareness about, uh, about different lang uh, language learning styles and then modify or tailor his or her methodology according to those those learning styles.